on it then. <laughs> Sorry, I just wearing my hat today. Look like I got a bump on there. Let me stay present with you rather than just in my own little world. Um, welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business, and I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And over the last few weeks, it's been an interesting array of topics. And today, yesterday's topic was inspired by a friend's uh, dual broadcast in the previous week. I spoke about toxic masculinity. And I realized I was, having a, I was fighting myself on that one because the title didn't fit. And even though the topic was accurate, I don't want to speak deeper because I want to call it what it really is. And so, oh, I jumped right in, didn't I? Let me back up a second. This is Message for the Masculine Inspired the Feminine Heart, number 402. Um, hit 400 on Friday, so this is 402, because there's more content coming. And so today I want to title it what it really is, which is not toxic masculinity, but to toxic machoism. And that is the real culprit, as I'm going to call it in this context. And I use the Me Too hashtag for a reason. And I'll get to that in a second. So if you've ever seen my broadcast before, I'm usually talking about things around the area of relationship, romance, connection, that sort of thing. And occasionally I go onto these um, <laughs> soapboxes and speak more bluntly about certain areas of the dating arena, which I think I've got issue or need room to improve, or the way that men and women could be better. And so today's one of those. So if you're not interested in my soapbox talks, no longer don't need to tune in any longer. If you want to think you might be some value in here, please keep watching because because the way these go, who knows it comes through because they're not scripted or, or planned. So yesterday I did speak because I called it about toxic masculinity because that was the label I was thinking to use. And I want to break down machoism versus masculinity first so you know what I mean by these two things. The machoism level, the macho way of being. And let me back up one second. Masculinity and machoism as it applies to men. Let me put that piece in there as well. Okay, so machoism as it applies to men is primarily derived on ego-based, self, selfish motivation driven to succeed at the expense of all others, or driven to win at the expense of all others, or the driven or driven to be the most comfortable at the expense of all others. Yeah, it's a different layers it works on. The macho is me, me, mine. I'm. It's all for me, not for you. That's that's the purest most limited way of describing it, is, which is selfish. At the same time, it's encased in this manly like, I'm tough, I'm strong, I'll take care of it, and, and, and screw it, you don't need to worry about it, I'll get it handled. Which is borderline altruistic, but it's not really. It's really like, look at me, look how good I am. So it's all tied into a very surface expression of being. The masculine, as I, as I would describe it, is one that instead of being driven by the ego up here and the need to get things done and make things happen, is more driven by heart and vision and purpose that is also about getting things done. However, it's getting things done to benefit others. And that's a big difference. At the same time, the masculine is one who is ideally awakened. I did put hashtag wake up. Um, so for me, the masculine is an awakened state for men where we realize that other men are actually our brothers, not our competitors, not our enemies usually. The other men are also have their own journeys and that each of us have a calling, a calling to, I'm gonna say greatness, but a calling to express and to serve and to make a difference. So if you're getting the sense of what's talking about difference between macho and masculine, I hope this is giving you enough of clear delineation because my, to be personally um, transparent, in 2007 where this work for me really began, it really was a transformation for me. Because I was in a place where, um, hey Alicia, nice to see you were broadcast, and hi, hey you yourself. In 2007 when I started this journey into the masculine and feminine understanding, the polarity dance and all these things I've this work, been studying ever since, I didn't really know what this, the difference was. I just didn't knew that there was something off inside of me. So in discovering this and journeying in this process, really clean clear that what I've been actually doing a lot of ways had been masculine 
being called to serve, being here to make a difference and all sorts of other things. I didn't know how to focus it. And the reality is that the masculine heart, who's really awoken, awakened, is focused. And again, focused on serving, um, purpose-driven life, make things happen that are benefiting others. That's kind of the broad strokes to define it. So that's the macho and the masculine as, as different. The toxic macho or the toxic, um, toxic, toxic machoism, which is where a lot of this comes from, I think it produces the biggest trigger for me too, amongst other things, is what I talked about yesterday briefly, but I want to get more into it today to really nail it. Because again, as I said, when I talked about toxic, to toxic masculinity yesterday, I was having a challenge with the languaging because I didn't feel it lined up right for me. And if, funny enough, I think back to my, my friend, um, Jillian and um, Destin had their talk last week, she was having a, top, a challenge with that labeling too. And I think when I finally hit this morning on was the term toxic machoism is much more accurate to describe what this is about because the macho when it's very selfish is one thing, but when it's negatively impacting other people, particularly women, that's where it gets toxic. And it's toxic in the sense that it's, it's disruptive of collaboration, cooperation, communication, connection, lots of C words, and other places of, connect, of being in the world. And it comes from a place of power, control, fear-driven, and limited beingness. And it's power and control from the point of view of, again, because again, macho is selfishness. Macho is self-driven. Self, um, um, not so from like driven to serve, but driven to driven to, to um, take in a way. So that um, expression expression expansion of the of the macho is to enjoy upsetting, suppressing, in, negatively impacting other people. There's actually a zealousness and a joy in that, which is where a lot again a lot of the Me Too movement was caused by. There were so many. Men, and again, I know it worked the other way around, but I'm generally speaking for men who are in this trap, which it can be a trap, were focused on making other people, particularly women, feel less than so they could feel better. It wasn't about feeling good for themselves, it was they had to make other people suffer for them to feel better. And it was a seesaw effect. So the more other people suffer, sorry, uh, more other people suffer, they would feel better. It was literally a seesaw effect. And this is what drives so many men still in this current time. It's one of those things that I hope will change. And, and this may be a, a wake up call, call to action, something like that. But I wanted to make sure this was clear because this is the old paradigm that has run rampant for many years. And to be honest, it's still running in parts of Hollywood. It's still running in parts of DC. And again, I'm not going to do any names, but you can derive from what you will. They're still running things that are in place of control and, le and leadership that are not serving their, their audience as much as they're serving themselves. And this is, and I'm, again, I'm not sure if there's any solutions. This is more of a soapbox I'm just talking today. So that's what this one is about. But I wanted to make sure that I really, because I'm, I'm, to be honest, digging deep in this myself to watch this and see this from my own viewpoint, because as I talk about this more and more ago, this lines up for me. This this label, oops, battery's running a bit low. Okay, I'll get to this quickly. Um, toxic, mas toxic machoism is a, <laughs> I don't think it's in the DSM-5. Uh, sorry, I was talking to somebody today who's a therapist and we were talking about the DSM-4 and 5 just in passing, um, and which is which is a, a psychological, um, Encyclopedia, so to speak. I was thinking was 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 macho, was was uh, toxic machoism in the DSM five. Maybe it will be. I don't know, but it is a very dysfunctional and negative way of approaching life, particularly for other people, because again, being so self self, um, but very being so ego self driven, it doesn't benefit anybody except themselves. So, other people pay the price. And if you look at certain people in Hollywood and some people in the DC, you can see them modeling this beautifully. And unfortunately, it doesn't work because again, this is selfish, selfish, not service oriented. And those people in Hollywood, and those people in DC, particularly in DC, are called to serve, to serve their audience, serve their people, serve their constituents, serve their community, serve the country, 
and serve each other. None of which seems to be demonstrated. So this toxic, and that's why I'm calling it toxic, because toxicity is the, um, how do I put this in a simple way? Well, toxic is like poison. And toxicity is the spreading of that poison in ways that are um, infecting others, because in some ways it shows that model as being okay, which is not. So some people, are, some generations in fact, have copied that model for general four years because it's the only thing that seems to be the way that works. So what I'm hoping to, okay, there's, I'm watching the path leading me into this topic, so <laughs> bear with me. What I'm feeling very clearly is that what I've been talking about for a while since the first broadcast was about how we had to change. I mean, way back, this was going back eight, 18 months ago, when I first started doing these Facebook Lives, I was talking about how the masculine is being called forward more to step into a greater place, as much as the feminine is being called forward as well. And so the awakened masculine and the awakened feminine, as terms that I use, it's really about where men and women are waking up to their greater way of being, which is to work at a higher level in cooperation, in collaboration, as I mentioned, those terms that weren't being done by the toxic macho, that the awakened masculine is the sort of man that is needed more than ever on the planet. So if other men are watching this, I hope you get what this means, which is really to really get clear about your why on the planet, your purpose that brings you here, that puts you in a place that serves and delivers something to the world that is of value to the rest of the world other than just yourself, that is focused on, there's another piece, okay, I might get to that in a minute. <laughs> if you have watched my broadcast before, stuff comes up at different times and I'm gonna remember it to go back to that. So, being awakened means that we're aware. Being awakened means that we see the world through a different lens other than what can I take, what can I get? Which is more about what can I give, what can I bring? And that difference is transformational for everybody around you, for your relationships, for your community and for the planet. The American masculine is needed more than ever. And this thing over here, let me drop that one in now because this, this is a business one for me. Um, I've been watching recently several different people in the internet marketing arena who I'm looking now more clearly have been stuck in that toxic, ma toxic machoism purporting to be leaders. And I'm watching how their operation, which is let me see how much money I can make versus who can I serve first. So for me, that illustration of the two differences is a stark um, delineation or a stark contrast between what is macho-based versus what is masculine-based. So again, toxic macho is the extreme of that, which is take, take, take. Awakened masculine is the opposite, which is basically is giving, giving, giving from a place of overflow, from a place of service, from a place of ownership. Um, I'm just placing on somebody else's work that talks about giving. If you give too much, you give up. What I'm speaking about is the giving is from caring, from compassion, and making a difference. And the rewards come from that as well. So my work is moving into that more and more. That's why I call it Messages from the Masculine, because Messages from the Awakened Masculine is a bit too long-winded. <laughs> so I shortened it to that. So Messages from the Masculine. Um, <laughs> so this is making sense. I'm keeping this fairly brief, one, because I know my battery's running down, and I'm going to plug in right now. But I want to just do a PS from yesterday's broadcast. Um, we've got work to do. All the men, all the women who are involved, we have work to do to step up, to raise the bar, to raise the standard in this conversation. So I'm putting the, I'm putting the um, invitation out to you to respond to this. If you want to talk about it, if you want to share this broadcast now, if you want to comment on this broadcast, and bring the dialogue back and forward. I'm willing to talk about this. This is something I'm working on myself and bringing as part of my work in the world by helping women is also about reflecting on how men can be better as um, partners and, and as leaders in the world that is serving a greater purpose, which is what I'm about myself. Um, speaking of which, as in the broadcast, this is number 402. So all these broadcasts, <laughs> sorry, I'm still getting around, wrapping my head around that many broadcasts. This broadcast and all my other broadcasts, you can find on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, or on my YouTube channel, and on YouTube, I'm Barry Selby, as is all my social media, by the way. And the playlist is Messages the Masculine. And they are now m making their appearance. I now have a podcast on iTunes called Messages from the Masculine. If you look there, you'll find 25 or so. So a lot more of these to upload there slowly but surely. So if you're driving or you're writing or you're exercising, you want to listen to my broadcast without to actually watch them because you want to be able to focus that way. Since I don't really change my appearance much on camera, I just wave my hands around. 
you can listen to them quite easily too on the podcast. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and on my website. If there's something you want to talk about deeper and you want some help in this area, if you go to my website, which is barryselby.com, you can click on Let's Chat, which is the first item in the menu. Um, also, that's where, the, that's where the repeats of these will show up in the video blog, although <clears throat> to be totally transparent, that page is becoming heavily loaded. I've got to reformat that page soon. I've been saying that for about a month now, so it's time. Um, I think that's it. If you've got any thoughts, comments about this broadcast, please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off again. If you want to share it with somebody else, please do so. And take this to heart. There's time, it's, it's time, the time of the toxic macho is coming to an end more clearly than ever. The Me Too movement's part of that, but there's more coming. And I believe there's going to be a transformation that's, that's definitely needed and it's coming across the country, across the planet, um, sooner rather than later. And I'm part of that, I know. So thanks for watching and thanks for being with me. And again, I appreciate your comments, thoughts, ideas you can put below, and I'll respond when I sign off. I'll be back in tomorrow, number 403. We'll see what that's going to be about. Maybe the same topic, we'll see. But I appreciate you watching, and I appreciate you being with me, and uh, thank you, as always, for letting me know there's people out there watching. It makes me feel better doing these. And for that, I'm grateful, and I'll see you again tomorrow.